So you're interested in buying a new car. It's always fun to uh, look at the sticker in the window, but how much do you want to pay? How do you want to finance it, all of that? Well, here with some of the answers is Brian Gothard, who's the new car sales manager here at North Park Toyota. So you wanted to talk about something instead of just buying the car outright, leasing. What's, how we explain that, I guess? Le leasing's a great option. If you're the type of customer you want to buy a brand new vehicle, you ought to really consider leasing the vehicle, and this is the reason being is you're protected against any fluctuations in the market um, against that vehicle. So what I mean is, you know, for example, if, if you own a vehicle and you're, and you're purchasing the vehicle, even if you pay cash for the vehicle, if that vehicle is involved in an accident and you get severe body damage on the vehicle, the Carfax will show that. And so even if you get it repaired, that's still kind of a, a, a black mark on it as you go to sell it, right? Definitely, definitely. Okay. And the Carfax is, is now, you know, the, the Bible to the pre-owned vehicles. When a customer buys a pre-owned vehicle, show me the Carfax. And so when, when the Carfax shows a severe damage to the vehicle, it's going to diminish the value of that vehicle. So when you go to trade out of that vehicle, if you own the vehicle, you're going to be the one to take the hit on that diminished value. If you lease the vehicle and you repair that vehicle back within factory specifications, the manufacturer is the one that takes that liability, not not you. And, you know, really the, the most common misperception on, on financing a vehicle is that... I I drive too many miles. I can't lease a car because I know there's mileage restrictions on there. Mm -hmm. But those customers that, that drive too many miles will end up financing the vehicle. Now we got banks that are financing vehicles for six and seven years. And so if you drive too many miles, you're better off to build the mileage into the lease up front instead of financing the vehicle for six or seven years because then you're going to create a negative equity situation. Okay. And then the other thing that, I mean, first on the list for a lot of folks is what am I going to be paying out of pocket every month? And this way you can actually have a lower monthly payment, right? That's right. Yeah. The, typically the leases will, will allow you a lower monthly payment if you're if you're looking at what your monthly payments are going to be. Number one, number two is is you know a lot of manufacturers now offer complimentary maintenance. And Toyota has two years maintenance uh, when you buy a vehicle, so the first two years are paid for by the manufacturer. So really, you're only out of pocket that one year of maintenance, and at the end of the three years, you're turning the vehicle in. The other issue is too typically at the end of three years is when your highest maintenance costs are going to start incurring, needing to replace tires. Your 50,000 mile services are going to be coming due at that point in time. So pretty much if you get into this cycle of leasing, you lease it for three years and then you know, give me a new set of car keys and get in a new vehicle. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Every three years, I mean, if you're that type of customer that like to own a brand new vehicle, you want the latest and greatest technology, a lot of new features that the manufacturers are, are starting to put in their vehicle are safety features, you know, lane departure alert with steering assist, radar cruise control, those types of safety features now that are coming out in vehicles. So if you want the latest and greatest technology, the latest and greatest in safety features, you know, leasing is definitely the great option. And at the end of that period, say you wanted to, you like the vehicle, you know who who's been driving it yourself, sure. you could then buy it back and start paying sure. for it. Just, just as if you're financing the vehicle or leasing the vehicle, either way, you can refinance that vehicle, you can pay that vehicle off at any time during the lease. What we do is at the end of your lease is that we're going to do a market valuation on the vehicle. And if you have equity in that vehicle, then you can use that equity and you can apply that equity towards your next purchase. You can refinance the vehicle because now you're buying the vehicle below market value. But at the flip side of the coin is if I do a market valuation on your car and the, and the value of your car is actually less than what you owe on the car, then you can just turn that vehicle back into the manufacturer. Okay. And, and Toyota will take that vehicle back. Well, there's a lot of things to kind of sort out. Brian is the man with all the answers. And if you'd like more information on Auto 101, just go to ksat.com slash auto 101. Auto 101 is brought to you by the folks at North Park Toyota of San Antonio.